Uh, hey guys, it's Lil F here. Um, just a little update on the audio map. We've added uh, quite a few herb locations. Of course, thanks to uh, th thanks to Hightower55, user on Reddit, for his constant contributions. Um, we've separated Alaskan and American ginseng for the dailies. Uh, that was a bit of a complaint we got there, so I went through and changed those. Uh, we've added Bay Bole, we've added some Blackberry, some Blackcurrant. Uh, do -do -do -do. Chanterelle we've also added. Do -do -do. Desert Sage, Evergreen Huckleberry, god damn it. Uh, what else have we added? We've added Golden Current Locations. Do -do 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 -do. Some Oleander Sage, I really thought I already had some, but apparently I hadn't. Uh, Prairie Poppies, Raspberry, Ram's Head, Red Sage, Vanilla Flower, a Wild Fever Few, and uh, Winter Green Berries. Um, on top of all of that, do 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 Wait, can I just do that? I can just do that. But it kept something. What did it keep? Why did it keep that? Have I not added that? Well, that's great. I guess I'll edit that. Apparently that's not part of the herbs layer group. But anyway, uh, on top of that, we've added extra ginseng locations. I've added extra burdock root, common ball brush, creeping time, uh, English mace. I've added more hummingbird sage, milkweed, mushrooms, oregano. Uh, haven't added more tobacco because I think we actually have all of those now. Um, more violet snowdrop, do, 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 more wild mint and more yarrow. It, it, I'm pretty sure we've added more locations to everything other than tobacco. I do actually think we've got all the tobacco ones now because there's, there's a lot of tobacco. Like, it's just, there's a lot of tobacco locations. I think there's more of them than anything else other than maybe both ginsengs, gensengs, ginseng, gin, ginseng. Yeah, okay, obviously more gin ginseng wait have I done that properly is, is that how ginseng is meant to be as a ginseng no it's ginseng all right that's good uh, but moving on from that um oh look anyway I do, I do want to thank Hightower55 again um he would definitely be the the largest contributor uh, especially the herbs, um, ne ne next to myself with doing the, the loot. If it comes to herbs, at least 90% of the herb locations have come from him and his just thorough note taking as he's gone around the map picking, picking herbs. Um, and my inspirational Tony Robbins music is about to start again, I guess. Um, all right, so yeah, moving forward from the map, I am currently working, uh, moving forward with the map, not from the map, we're still on the map. Uh, I am currently working on adding highlighted areas to the map for animals. Um, having a bit of trouble adding them to this little index here. Like we've got animals at the moment. Um, I don't want them to be markers like they currently are though, and I'm pretty sure that cougar spawn's gone, so I should remove that. Um, what I want them to be is uh, like highlighted areas on the map, like a little polygon sort of thing. Uh, I'm not having trouble adding the polygons, but when I do, they're permanent, and I'm just struggling with trying to figure out how to make them like I do the markers. Um, if I can't figure that out within a week, I have reached out to a couple of people. I'm just waiting for a reply. Um, but if I can't figure that out, what will probably happen is I'll just turn these into hyperlinks. And when you click them, it'll open another version of this map with them already, with the polygons already there. Um, yeah, that, that, that'll be a, probably a crude fix of how to do it until I figure it out, but I'm not going to let it go for much longer than a week, I don't think. Um, so yeah, if I, if I haven't got a reply to either the post I've put up asking for help or, um, uh, which is on like, I don't know, Stack Overflow or some, some website, um, but all the people that I've just DM'd who said they'd be able to help me out if, uh, if I needed some help with it. Um, if I don't get a response from them in about a week, so Monday next week, I'll just start adding those as separate maps and just manually, uh, doing polygons and whatnot for them. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've also started, uh, to do working on some uh, or basically learning some C++ just highlight all the locations we've added now um, because I do have some ideas how to take the map to the next level sort of app wise um, I don't want to go into it too much though just in case I'm like oh hey this is what the map's gonna do and then like two years from now it's still not doing that that would that would piss me off um, but yeah, that, that's where I'm at with the map at the moment. I do still need to redesign the website, I know this. Um, that is something that's in the works. I, I've just moved for like the second time this year. And I'm still really just getting adjusted to the new area. Um, work's been an interesting subject for the, it being the whole reason that I moved is, is yeah. 
Um, it, it, I may potentially have to, I may potentially have to move again in like three months, depending on what goes on, really, with this contract. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone has any other locations and whatnot, uh, as in the map, not like, hey, move here for work. I'm not looking for that. Um, if, if you've got any locations for the map, I'm just jumping from subject to subject now. Um, like herbs, loot, whatever. Um, there's a web form on the con oh, the about us page of rdomap.com, right at the bottom. So what a lot of people are doing, if it's a, if it's a bit of loot. They take two screenshots, one of the the actual uh, mini-map of where they're standing, not the mini-map, the actual map, with them standing there, and then one of the actual item highlighted, um, and then they just send them through, host it on Im Imger, or Imger, whatever you want to call it, and send that link through to me. If it's just a herb location or an animal location, just there's no point in taking a screenshot of it, just, just the actual position of you on the map would be more than enough. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm I, mm. I think that's pretty much all there is to go into other while. There's also this, I know a cover builder said, hey, this looks like a pixelated fucking mess when you zoom in too far, and yeah, I agree. Um, if you look at a few of the old streams where I was working on it, I think maybe even the initial announcement was me working on a SVG manually. I have done more work on that, but it is, it is taking a very long time. Just one of these tiles. Uh, I hadn't even finished and it had taken me roughly 11 hours just to mark all these things because these tiny little lines were disappearing when I converted it to an SVG which would give higher resolution um, and without these lines you just wouldn't know where anything is really for judging where you are. Um, if anyone has an extremely high resolution map feel free to send it through to me that would also be great otherwise I'm probably just gonna have to go through the entire game uh, and just take a screenshot of every section of the map with it completely zoomed in on the PS4 and um, then pin it all together and then hopefully be able to make it the same kind of dimensional constraints of the original map otherwise it'll mean redoing every location but that's probably on on me for the way I've made this map so poorly what with not actually knowing how to code um, I don't think there's really anything else to say other than uh, thanks to all the who have donated. Um, I think the Patreon's at like 8 or $9 a month at the moment, and that, that does cover, I think, just under half of the hosting. Um, we are fine with the hosting, though, for now. I think I've just recalculated the other day till about August. We should be good, and Tony Robbins' music is going to start again, so that means I've probably been talking way too long, but there's... <sighs> That's 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 just me, I guess. There's nothing new there. Um, so yeah, that's that's all the updates. Thanks to everyone who's donated. Um, it won't be disappearing even if the donations run out. It'll just be dropping down a tier in hosting. I know the hosting already feels kind. I don't know what it's like in America. From here in Australia, it feels terrible. I've been told in America it's not so bad though. Maybe it's just yeah, the location of the hosting. I figured it would be better hosted over there though than over here, because then it would be shit for basically everyone other than the small amount of people in Australia that use it. Um, but yeah, again, feel free to send them through on that web form if you've got more locations. Thanks to everyone who's donating, and I hope people are still having fun in Red Dead Online. Um, we do have that large patch coming up fairly soon, which I'm hoping will revitalize the population a little bit and make people feel a little bit more safer with that semi-passive mode they're talking about. And hopefully it doesn't just make everyone become a sniper. And yeah, thanks again guys, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day.